Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC. I am violently underdressed for this package from Jack Archer, otherwise known as Pocket Sex. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, I sent a couple knives out a while back to get modded. And I told our friend Jack here to get weird with it, get wild with it. Uh, you know, mistakes, y you learn from your mistakes. Uh, you know, and uh, I probably won't learn from this one. But Jack did get wild. And you're going to see exactly what I mean right now. <laughs> Right, again, I just got back from the post office myself, and a little package was waiting for me. And it's from Jack, and I was like, why does that name sound familiar? It's Pocket Sex on Instagram. Links down below. Hit him up. You won't, you will not regret it. I promise you. I promise you. What are we going to use? Let's use something fancy. The McNeese Mac 3-inch here. Mac PM th PM2 3-inch? Is that what it's called? I can't. I, I hope I th I hope this is what I think it is. Otherwise, I'm going to sound like a babbling fool. Holy crap! Just a okay. Uh, okay. Nothing left in there. Is it? Bye bye. Uh, an empty wee pouch with a pa hey. It's a, it's a, it's a, one of those. Okay. I, I sent that to him. That was my okay. All right. Okay. Bubble wrapped with love. Oh uh, my friend. <laughs> what have you done? Nothing left in the bubble wrap. Goodbye. Oh, baby. Keep this color key. Tri-State EDC art form. Tri-State EDC art form. Uh, okay. And there's a date on here. There's a date. There's info about what all he's done. It's vacuum sealed? Pocket Sex. This is so professional. Also, the name Pocket Sex. What a perfect name. Why did nobody think of that before? It's just it beautiful. It's a beautiful name. Rolls right off the tongue. You know what? Let's start with this one. You know, let's start. Let's start with this one. This is a twofer. It's a twofer. I've reviewed both these knives. It's been a while, but I have. Two of my all-time faves. They just needed a little extra zhuzh. They need to be zhuzhed up. You know? Oh god. Ow. Yeah. This is my arc form catalyst. I just recently had my catalyst reground by. Uh, BGM Knives. John at BGM Knives. It needed a hollow grind. It was begging for one. And you know what else it was begging for? A flicking hole. It just... Oh, it just needed a flicking hole, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Be This beautiful hollow grind. That belt satin hollow from uh, BGM. Giant, beautifully countersunk. Nicely knocked down, flicking hole from pocket sex on bearings. Flipper action, still money. Reverse flicks, great. This knife, there's just so much real estate up here, you know what I mean? It's like, why not? Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. Takes some getting used to. Reverse flicks, easy peasy, though. Whoa. As I, I say that, I can't do it. Come on. Thank you. Come on, Tri State. Wake up. Yeah, yeah. You know, I would have preferred that flicking hole be a little higher, but I'm guessing he put it where it is for a reason. Man. Man. This knife is perfect now. I'm very happy with it. It makes me happy. I love it. The Art Form Catalyst, sadly discontinued. You cannot buy this knife brand new anymore. You can probably get one. Check NAF sale. Links down below. Uh, other secondary sites. But yeah, I mean, hollow grind, flicking hole, daddy, daddy. As soon as he figures out how to open the damn thing, daddy's very happy. The detent is absurd on this knife. It always was, even when it was just a flipper only. Brutal. I forget who made this. Future Me? It was either Wii or Rayot. Either way, the Catalyst, designed by Tough Knives, Jeff Blavel. I love it oh so very much. Mwah. And now it is home, and it is exactly the way I wanted it to be, so thank you for that. Now then... Let's move on to the big daddy here, okay? We got a sticker. Some stickers that I believe my wife made. Shout out, Kara. Thank you. Um, and then we have this. A yet another arc form. <laughs> this, has to, this has to be the loudest arc form ever. 
ever. This is the Arcform Slimfoot, also designed by Jeff Bl 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 Jeff Blavelt at Tough Knives. The goal here on this absurd looking knife was for it to match my crazy shirts. That's why I said I was underdressed. I am not dressed properly. I have like 15 crazy shirts that look this wild or even more wild, but I, I don't have one on right now. I was too excited to put it on. Uh, yeah, this is nuts. So these are made by Rayot. It was the full titanium manual flipper version of the Slimfoot. Um, titanium clip, titanium uh, build all the way around, titanium backspacer. It was a flipper only, so I've had him add thumb studs, so we got studs added. On the show side, we have this electric ass green with multicolored, the, the, the idea was like a 90s, like Saved by the Bell kind of aesthetic was the goal here. And on the reverse, we have the black Cerakote with the same pattern. And and just the, the, the detail here is wild. Like, how did you get all the crazy colors and, like, the, the color-shifting Cerakote? Like, the amount of time involved in in doing that. It's, biz it's wild to me, man. It's on the inside as well. I don't know if you can tell, but it's on the inside. It's unbelievable. He also laser etched the clip with the same pattern. Are you kidding me? Let me flick it open. <laughs> and, of course, he laser etched the blade with the same pattern. Beautiful hollow grind, belt satin. Love the looks of these thumb studs, these polished thumb studs. They just fit perfectly. I've always loved... Yeah, dude, I've always loved the Slim Foot. It's always been... In my top ten, like, most fave. Wow, dude, there's, like... That's Sriracha from lunch earlier? Sorry, everybody. I just had lunch. I mean... It's always been one of my favorite knives, and I've always wanted to mod it. I just wasn't sh quite sure what I wanted to do with it. I, and I... Again, I told Jack. I was like, look, go crazy. Go wild. Get nuts. I, and he did not disappoint. Like... I really didn't give him that much guidance. And for him to go this off the wall... <laughs> it's so crazy. Originally, the uh, the black side was pink. And it was so loud. And I was like, you know what? Let's go black on the clip side. And then let's, let's leave the show side green. And I'm glad we did that. I just love it. You will never see another slim foot like this. And honestly, it's a shame there aren't more reground catalysts out there. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, dude. Ugh. Oh. It really didn't take that long, too. For this level of work, a month, maybe two months. So, pocket sex, well done, dude. I, I'm i just over the freaking moon. I can't thank you enough. I will definitely be employing your services again very, very soon. Uh, but, again, I will leave links to the original review videos for these down below. The Artform Catalyst, the Artform Slimfoot. If I have links for either of these, I will leave them down below so you can grab one for yourself. I will also link pocket sex. Um, and I will link BGM Knives who did the regrind on the Catalyst. But that is it. God, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my absolute insanity. <laughs> I know what I'm carrying the rest of the day. Like, there's no doubt about it. There's no question in my mind what I'm carrying for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Uh, that is it. Subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. Plenty of pictures of these. That's it. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time... Bye-bye now.